Our, our birthday surprise and then our grand finale at the end of the show. So lots of good stuff. Okay, next up, something we've been promoting. It's brand new while supplies last $69.98 petrified wood bead necklace. Whenever Jay brings anything in with regards to petrified wood, we cannot keep it in stock. Jay, value for money is extraordinary on a look and a color and a feel that is so attractive. What, what makes this really amazing is you're buying something that's, uh, this material's 30 to 50 million years old. Right. Um, what really makes it unique and different, um, there's about five different petrified woods uh, in this. They're all from the United States. They were all uh, gathered in the 60s and 70s. Um, so uh, we, Gathered in the 60s okay, and 70s. This, okay, this is at the Petrified National Monument. Where is that? See that? That's that's actually petrified wood. You can oh see the logs. Thing. Now, did you see that collecting is prohibited? Yeah. I, they actually, when I went that day and we came out there, we were filming, they searched my, my truck when I no. left. <laughs> I guess I just look suspicious or something. <laughs> or maybe they recognize me and they think, okay, I hope this guy maybe we is... We know uh, this hopefully, guy. <laughs> hopefully he's not gathering anything. Um, but here's the thing. Phil Johnson is who we got this from and Phil's retired now. Um, this man, you know, has had forgotten more about petrified wood than I'll ever know in my lifetime. Um, to sit with him and just hear, hear him, it was his passion, it was his love. And he was uh, really, actually, he was the go-to guy. He was the expert. Anytime anybody had anything to, that had to deal with petrified wood, yeah. they went to fill. Uh, most of these, I mean, well, not most of them, all of these materials you're seeing here, the Akara, all of this came off of private ranches. He collected them in the 60s. He collected collected them in the 70s. You're not even allowed to collect anymore. You cannot collect this on public lands. It has to come off private lands. Wow. But none of this is available. That's petrified beech wood from yeah, California. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, so what's happened is Phil sold us his collection about 15 years ago when he retired. Uh, he gave us first shot. We bought it all. What you're seeing now, guys, mm -hmm. is you're seeing, you can see all the mixtures of all the different woods. So you got all these, you got at least five different kinds of petrified wood in this. And they, we're kind of like down to the last of the last. Right. Um, you know, it, it, was, it was a huge collection uh, that we bought, but we're really, really kind of down to the wire on this. And there is no replacing this. You, there is no way to ever get it again. You, I mean, you're looking at something literally that was collected in the late 60s and early 70s when it was still available. You're not, I don't even think you can find it anymore and you can't collect it on public property. It is our fastest selling item of the show. We're now about 800 left before it's sold out. It will be a complete sellout, Jay. Yeah, and this is just, to, to be honest with you, this is just a crazy, crazy value, crazy price. We uh, did our best. And, and the thing is, is because we even gave a, an unbelievable price even to start off with it. Right, right. Because it's really kind of the last of the last of the material that we have. But that being said, I always save, uh, the, 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 if not the best, some of the top, <laughs> top material. For the, it's just somebody taught me that, one of my original mentor. He said, here's the thing, always save your best to the last. And I said, well, no, but you want, so he says- Isn't you there know, a song about that yeah, guy? You can always, he goes, think about it. You know, if you got the high, the best quality, you know, you're, you know that that's money in the bank. Yeah, yeah. You know? So usually when you see my last of my last, uh, in most cases, it's, it's the top material that I kind of squirreled away uh, for myself. So Jay is a hoarder in the best possible I, sense. You know what, I am a hoarder. I am a hoarder, I, I will admit to that, but I'm an organized hoarder in the stuff I hoarder. <laughs> and, but I'm not a sloppy hoarder. When you, when you come see my hoard, it's all very organized. I bet it is. <laughs> and it looks good. I like, to, I like it to look good when you hoard stuff. But I, and you know, like a lot of this material, you get so attached to it, especially a lot of my turquoises and stuff. Right. Um, they just say, okay, get over it, man. <laughs> and let it, and let, let, it, let it set it free, you know, let other people enjoy it. Give it up, it. give it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, this tells an amazing story, many story, uh, many stories rather, in fact, and we're thrilled that you're loving it. Five flex pair, fourteen dollars, Jay. Yeah, you know, and you have, you know, petrified wood, so everybody knows how this. This actually, at one time, was wood. Yeah. I mean, it was. You saw there in the petrified national monument. They're actually, it's wood. It's logs. If. Um, 
um, you know, like uh, what happens is the, uh, when you have like Mount St. Helens, you right. know where you know how Mount St. Helens blew up, and then you, it looks like the whole forest is like a bunch of pickup sticks, yes. right? Yes. Toothpicks. And then you see how that it kept erupting and erupting, and it was covered with ash. Yeah. If we come back in 30 to 50 million years to Mount St. Helens, right? Right. If we make a trip I'll back, I'll put it in my diary. <laughs> okay, you put that in your diary, <laughs> and we come back. I would be willing to bet you'll find petrified wood. Well, and you'll have Mel St. Helens petrified wood. <laughs> it's just about 30 to 50 million years. <laughs> Jay is our travel agent. He's the guy. Give or take a million. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're going to take a quick phone call. There's only about 300 now left with everybody dialing in. Very popular. Remember, at 10 to 8, we're going to reveal our very special surprise in this hour. And then at the top of next hour, something that's two and a half years in the making. But first, Holly's in Oregon and also on HSN. Holly, you're live. Say hi to Jay. Well, hello. How you doing? It was nice to talk to you the other day, Jay. I'm glad I get to do it again. Yeah, I um, recognize the name. How you doing? Yeah, you, you make the most exquisite jewelry, and I was telling the lady that helped me get through to the line, I said, it's insane. Wonderfully insane. The prices are wonderfully insane. It's on your business card, isn't it, Jay? Wonderfully insane. <laughs> But Holly, um, how how does it make I, you feel? Oh my gosh! I, you know, I mean, I, I I love jewelry to begin with, and yes. I, and I have you know good quality jewelry, and I also have good quality fake jewelry. Right. <laughs> um, I'm a Heidi Doss fan, so very I good. Very I good love quality. Heidi too, by the way. Um, but. I love the feel of natural stones against your skin. 